so it's like 8 a.m. right now and I'm going in to see the Beckett. For what? I'm making a vlog. Huh? I'm making a movie for YouTube. And I was coming to see you. Say hi to everybody. Hello. Tell everybody what you're doing so early in the morning. What are you doing? Legos. This guy is a master at building Legos. Show them one of your creations. Well, you can see over there, I built some creations. Some creations. Come, come show them. What did you build? Well, I did build this all by myself. What is it? It's a masterpiece of a roadster and it's a roadster, roadster truck. It's a roadster truck. Yep. And there's also another one that I built. Yeah? It's this one. It's a Hot Wheels car. I like it. I'm proud of you. Yep. Give me hugs. Oh, oh no! Did I break it? It's nothing. Just a lot of pieces. <laughs> Okay, so he likes to get up early and uh, he loves Legos. And so right now I'm going out of here. I'm gonna get ready for the day. I've got uh, some meetings starting at 8.30. Um, already took those guys outside and uh, I'm excited. Today's Friday, so we've got a team, we've got a team meeting. Stop. All my dogs are excited too. Team meetings coming up today. Um, got a few other client meetings today. And uh, then I've got sparring class. This is sparring class gonna be fun. Big storm last night, so I have a call at uh, nine o'clock. I had internet earlier this morning, like 7.30, not a problem. And then right before my first meeting of the day, which was at 8.30, internet just completely tanked. There was a hurricane that came up the coast and inland last night. And so lots and lots of rain, we lost power for a little bit. But I checked this morning and the internet was good. Now it's not good. And it is currently 8.50. I have a call scheduled for nine o'clock, it's master class. I don't know if I'm gonna get there on time. So, here we go. I just got out of my mouth. <laughs> when you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And I apparently did not have a earbuds charged. So I did make it to Starbucks in time. I did run the uh, the master class, but uh, now I have to leapfrog again and get to the karate school so that I can get ready for my next call, which is at 10:30, and it is currently 10:17. So. Oh yes, we got brown rice. We got mushroom chicken. Gonna be making for some good food right now. So about eight months ago, well actually it's been like almost a year now. So about a year ago, I started having, um, I had issues before with uh, with blood sugar and with my blood sugar dropping, hypoglycemia. And I was diagnosed with a thyroid issue as well. And so uh, that meant I went to a low glycemic index diet from like I don't know, 22 years old or so. But what happened was is that I was fine for well, not fine, I had other things come up, but that seemed to be under control. I got close to getting that under control around 25, 26 years old. But what happened was is that last year, around this time, my body completely went out. Um, looking back at it now, the doctors think I had pancreatitis and um, I, couldn't, I couldn't keep anything inside of me. I couldn't maintain anything and keep it inside of me. And so, my blood sugar was dropping like crazy as well. And I was like passing out, it was, it was, it was miserable. So like I was having trouble thinking because when you don't have blood sugar, it keeps dropping. So it's like the opposite of being diabetic, right? Um, or when you are diabetic and your blood sugar drops, that can be seriously, seriously low. Like if your blood sugar drops too low, you pass out. And if it stays too low, you can go into a coma. So not good things. It got to the point though, that every time I ate, my blood sugar would skyrocket and then it would crash. And so basically like eating for me was not something that I did well. The only thing that seemed to not cause me pain and the only thing that seemed to work was to eat salmon. Salmon has a high protein content, very low fat. And I would eat brown rice. And that's all I could eat. And I'd have to eat very small portions of it. 
and it got down to the point where I was only eating one time a day. And I was eating a very small fish and salmon. And then throughout the day to keep my blood sugar up, I would take soy milk and I would put it in like decaf coffee because I couldn't have any caffeine either. Well, after about six months, I started finally getting to the right doctor. And then around eight months, I was diagnosed, after eight months after this started, I was diagnosed with idiopathic dumping syndrome. Basically, my body is not like digesting food correctly, and it just dumps it all out. And so I was able to be put on a, a very old school medication. And um, since then, I've actually started being able to eat. So I've only been able to eat, like eat real meals for the last six weeks. And, um, and every time I eat now, I just have an appreciation for what I'm eating. I don't take it for granted. It's huge. So basically, rushed up here, got into the school, but my client um, had to reschedule. So uh, the good news is, is that I have some more time to knock out some of the other things that I need to get done. Um, and the great news for him is he also had a really great opportunity to market his business. So it counted as a win-win. Um, so I'll be on to the next thing. Okay, so I arrived back here to the school, getting a little bit of coffee, and then I'm gonna be doing a Facebook Live, or excuse me, un, uh, having unbeatable student retention is what we're gonna be covering. So we'll get started with that here shortly. All right, so about to go do class next. I'm gonna jam pack mat, so I'm gonna go teach some kickboxing. Do my thing out there, leave these guys, it's gonna be fun. And then I'm gonna come back and work on this org chart. <laughs> Cause our company is growing like crazy right now and people are shifting their positions and all kinds of crazy growth. Ooh, uh, crazy growth is happening. So I'll be back. So tell everybody what we're about to do. Uh, sparring class. We're gonna do some sparring. That's mm -hmm. right. What are you expecting in sparring class? I don't know. Don't know? Is there anything you want to tell the fans worldwide? Uh, I don't know. No, no. Should we include some clips of you sparring in the video? Uh, okay. Sound good? Okay. We will do it. We'll see you on the mat. We're actually matching. Okay. You want to tell everybody what we are about to do? Yes. I'm about to punch Miss Jennifer. Cows. We are about to have an awesome kickboxing class starting in about 30 minutes. Sparring so, class. Sparring, yes, kickboxing, sparring class. So they're going to have people in there our size, but little sizes too. So we're going to have some fun. It'll be awesome. Your hands should be touching your cheek. Twitch. 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 Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Don't stop. Don't stop. So we're wrapping up the night and there's Miss Beautiful Callie right there. Hello. All right, she's coming through. So anyway, wrapping up the night here at SKC and thank you so much for being here and joining these last two days with me. I hope that you got a peek on the inside. And if you have not yet, make sure to go ahead and you hit that bell, hit like, and I'll see you on the next video.